<laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Or should I say, good morning, Angels. Because you know our <laughs> next guest from her days fighting bad guys on the 70s hit Charlie's Angels. Oh my gosh, what a classic show. Please welcome back Cheryl Ladd. Welcome, Cheryl. Hey, Cheryl. Hi. We are so How excited are to have you. We're all a little giddy around here. We're all such huge it's fans. True. It's I mean, true. Charlie's Angels still holds up all these years later, from the original series to all the movies that were made. The Angels were and continue to be huge role models for so many girls out there. Why do you think it is that Charlie's Angels is so timeless and still resonates so much with young women? Well, I think the original one for its time, um, it, it was kind of groundbreaking. Nobody had seen three young women being the stars of a television show before. And what is great about it, A, I got to make a great friendship with Jacqueline Smith, yeah. and B, I have been traveling all over the world and I can't tell you how many young women have come up to me to say what an inspiration the show was for them, that they decided to go for something they maybe wouldn't have had the courage to go for right. if they wow. hadn't seen that show. And that always makes me feel good. Yeah, it really was ahead of its time. It really was, and so, and you inspired so many others. So we'd love to know who inspired you, who are your role models growing up, and or angels growing up? Well, when I was little, it was always Haley Mills. I wanted to be Haley Mills. I had an English accent for one entire summer. <laughs> I was that kind of weird kid. Um, and let's see. As I got older, I um, saw a lot more film, really. It was uh, uh, Catherine Hepburn, and oh, Grace wow. Kelly, um, Betty Davis. I like a lot of the old gotcha. movies. I like watching some of them. And some of those strong women in the past uh, were pretty inspirational to all of us. Oh my goodness, so we're seeing photos. You got to meet all of those women, it looks like. Oh yes, I love that photo. It's one of my treasures, that photo I have uh, with uh, Betty Davis. Uh, she, is, she was just amazing, amazing person. Didn't you also actually play Grace Kelly? Am I remembering that correctly? I yes, I did. Yes. And you did a fantastic job, I might add. Thank you. Yes, it was interesting because my husband and I were at a, a television uh, event and were invited to go to Monaco and um, we stood in a line and we got to meet her and she, everybody was lovely. It was gorgeous. So we had a ball. And on the way home on the plane, he said, I have an idea. I think you should play Grace Kelly. I go, yeah, right. No, really? And he said, you could do it. And so what I happened is, Besides just being a huge fan and inspired by her and just knocked out by her beauty and her elegance, um, I decided to study who she was as a young woman. And it was really an interesting journey to find out that uh, her family wasn't that keen on her becoming an actress. And, you know, her father was kind of upset about it. And, wow. you know, she did commercials and went to acting school and, you know, took, her, took all the same steps that I had taken yeah. uh, when I came to Los Angeles and tried to develop my career and took acting class and all of that. So there wow. was a lot of, of her that I could relate right. to as a young, young actress. A lot of similarities to a princess. I like that. No, while you well, may not be playing princess 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 <laughs> <laughs> No, we think so. While you're not playing princesses today or going on undercover missions uh, with the angels, you do have a very personal new mission, which is to encourage others to stay optimistic when it comes to aging. Tell us about that. Well, you know, I just feel like we don't, if we're lucky, we're going to get older. <laughs> yeah, what and, a great way to you look know, at it. I can tell you how many friends yeah. that I had and people I love that are just not with us anymore and they weren't as old as I am. So, you know, I just count my blessings, um, keep the faith, and I just try to exercise and take good care of myself. And um, it, it, one of the things that really upset me was I was having so many problems with my eyesight. Mm. So. Yeah. I had the opportunity to have cataract surgery. And not only that, I got this amazing new lens. It's the only trifocal lens that uh, is available here in the United States, and it's called a panoptics uh, lens. And I have to tell you, I can see like I'm 12 years old. Oh, wow. It has that is a... Talk about being optimistic. Right. It has totally changed my life. Literally, I couldn't drive at night. I was. My, my world was getting smaller and smaller and smaller. I had my cataract surgery and I'm eagle eye again. 
Good for you. That must make such an, a massive yeah. difference. And I know like health and yeah. wellness is such an important thing to you and to make it a priority because once you're able to do that, then you're able to really kind of 100% go in there with all of your passions and something you and I have in common is that we're both involved in the organization Child Help. I know that's one of your yes. passions. Yeah. I love you for that, Cameron. I, I just oh, think that's you. so wonderful. It's, an, as you know, an amazing organization. I don't have to tell you, Cameron. You have done a lot of wonderful things for child help. And, um, but I've been doing it now almost 40 years. I started when I was on Charlie's Angels. Oh, my goodness. And um, I had a two-year-old daughter and actually did a film called When She Was Bad. I played a, a woman who abuses her child because there, nobody was talking about the issue. So, you know, it was it became such a part of my life. And when the show was on the air, I was on uh, the Dinah Shore show to promote the movie. And at the end of it, I said, if there's anyone out there working uh, against child abuse and, and has, I want to help you, call me. And as I walked off the set after I was on the show and I was leaving, there was a man standing right there at the door and he said, I'm sorry, Miss Lad, the phone's for you. And I got on the phone and it was Sarah O'Meara and Yvonne Federson from Child Aww. Health and said, Cheryl, oh, we funny. need you. We love you. We want you to come <laughs> and see what we're doing. You know them. So yeah. they are just magical, yeah. these women. And they have been at it for a very long time since they were young actresses exactly. in, in Los Angeles. Yeah. Well, Cheryl, You're we really need well. you. We love you. And you truly are an angel and you always will be in That's our right. eyes. Thank you so much for joining us. And thank you so much for sharing that information about vision loss because I too suffer from that. So thanks a lot for that. And we'll see you very soon. Thank Cheryl, you, Cheryl, you're amazing. We'll see you soon. Absolutely. Thanks again. Bye, All guys. Right. Bye. Bye. See ya. God okay. bless.